Take a look at this. Looks like any other regular banana farm, right? You would be mistaken. Watch when I slide over. Oh my God. We got seven more upgrades for the banana farm. The final one is just null and it costs a hundred million dollars. Also look at the achievement I got from doing the uh, one TC. I guess I'd never done that before in any hard difficulty. So that's cool, monkey knowledge point. If I sound like sick or stuffy right now, it's cause I am, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to deal with it. Why don't we just go on Dark Castle again? This map looks so cool. We'll start with Norman right here and the magic farm is gonna be this one. This little guy right here is gonna produce us billions it's so weird to see look on the left side we got 12 upgrades for the first path i'm excited why don't we just start with an engineer everyone hating on engineer you guys are stupid it's so good for a little starting tower you get some sentry guns going look at that some oversized nails and pin faster engineering even yep sprockets yep now there's nothing in the entire game that can get by so we can work on our farm right now we have produced 872 dollars by the end of this it's probably going to be a big difference this might be a weird video for you guys to see because it's the first time in a long time i'm playing quote unquote legit <laughs> besides money okay i know double cash is not legit i know a crazy farm is not legit i mean in the sense of the towers i'm not using some crazy overpowered paragon or fourth path or ultimate cross pathing you know we're gonna play good old-fashioned just some nice engineer get some sentry expert going also these trees are pissing me off i need to move these now we already had a leak to camo balloons i forgot about those we'll get down a radar scanner alongside a alchemist so what i'm doing here is this is going to be the only farm that i use for this entire thing not going to get some bullshit not going to get the other paths just this one and we'll see just how far an overpowered farm can take us it's just so dumb every tier list i've seen always puts the engineer like all the way at the bottom look at it it's so good get it a tier five it can probably take care of 80 i don't know if it does i don't really use it either but <laughs> it probably can we now have enough of the banana research facility here's where the money's gonna start coming in like look at this first moab coming in um Okay, we had some leaks. Maybe it's not as good as I thought. Damn, that was quick. Okay, Banana Central. Now we get to the fancy upgrades. Watch this. First BFB coming in. It's gonna make it its bitch. See what I'm saying? This is what we do now. We get the Ultra Boost and we get this guy to 10 times. And 10. Look at that. We can also upgrade this guy to Permabrew, even though I hate the Permabrew. Defense is looking solid. Funky Farm, $241,000. The OG Tier 6 Banana Farm. Uh, I don't know what that means. There's never been a Tier 6, right? Am I just crazy or is he lying to me? C-O-M-G. Get it taken down. Look at that. No problem. Okay, let's speed this up. We need 240k. Put it in 25 times speed. Funky farm. What's it going to look like? It's just golden and blue. Sweet. 16,000. Oh my god. Wait, no. 18,000. So I guess if Norman collects it, it gets more luck. So 18,000, right? If I were to do my finger. Oh, of course. Right when I try to do that, it runs out of bananas. I went ahead and got a perma spike because... I know I love this guy, but he is starting to struggle quite a bit. All right, Perma Spike is now a 10 times Ultra Boost. What we should do now is get another Engineer. This one is going to be... Oh, that is not the path I meant to do. This one's going to be the XXL Trap. We have $1 million. That means it's time. Big banana. Bananas are worth two times more. Also improves the buff from Banana Central. Okay. Now it's a pink Banana Central that gives us 32000 Come on, give me some money. Yeah, 32000 I want to get the Paragon. Let's start spamming engineers everywhere, right? Get down some sacrifices. I'm not using Geraldo, so we're not going to be able to get it degree 100, but who really cares? Look at all these sentry turrets and watch this. Magic button. You ready? Shabam. They're all tier fours. And look at this. Cleansing foam overload. I'm just using this as a big fuck you to all the engineer haters out there. I know you're hearing this. Our defense is not looking too great. Let's go ahead and get a ray of doom. Just like that. Monkey banana crates. Monkey branding makes the bananas worth more and increases the banana central buff again. It's going to turn it like teal, isn't it? No, it didn't change how it looks. That's stupid. Let's see how much it gives. 57,000. That's a lot of money. Oh, hey, look, the first BAD. Can't we take it down? Of course we can. We have a perma spike. Nothing can get past a perma spike, right? Oh, we didn't even need it. See, I told you, engineer's OP. Wait, I skipped over that. Did you see that? I got a purple banana farm for the Insta Monkey. That is no coincidence. There's no way. All right, I'm getting sick of this. Let's get the Paragon. Not going to be 100, obviously. 
but 67 it's pretty solid i can't even lie since i've been using the uh golden village so much also i wish i could lock this thing in place it's gonna piss me off so bad since i've been using the golden village so much like the self overclock replica i didn't even know that this guy like boosts himself 10 percent every round unless that's just a lie someone has to let me know if that's true or not if i move the perma brew back over here is it gonna buff the turrets i don't know this is why i was wondering it if you move one of the turrets like this it like shows it gets the buff so i'm assuming it does that's pretty nice all right we need 3.8 million for the diamond bananas in the meantime why don't we start working towards another paragon you will be grandmaster ninja you will be that this little purple turret does so much damage but i cannot stand it following my finger this whole time i'm just gonna sell him okay here we go four more upgrades diamond bananas ultra valuable diamond bananas okay once again, it didn't change what it looks like. Let's see how much it produces. 252,000. I know I've used the Banana Farm Paragon before and it gives you literally infinite money, but you can change the settings. That's like the OP version. The regular version only gives you 100,000 every time. So this thing already is better than the Banana Farm Paragon. That is if you're using it normally, not on the OP version, you know. Uh, this is not good. Bananas of the Aether, it just says loading. Does it not tell me how much it is? I think they kind of just gave up on the pictures from here on out, but it does say it costs 15 million in here. Until then, why don't we get the Ascended Shadow? 63 is not bad, never mind. Okay, now we put it in 25 times speed. We save up 15 million, which we're almost already at. Okay, never mind. I thought I was gonna have to like speed this up, do a little time lapse. But look at this. 15 million now. And it's no longer red. Okay, let's do this. I am God. Look at it now. I honestly love how it looks. How much does it produce? 3.8 million. Holy shit. The next one, Bananas of the Void, also says loading. So we're going to have to see how much. 32 million. That's going to be so fast. Less than one round and we already have that. Bananas of the Void. Guys, I think we should stop with the bananas. No, we should not. Now it's black and blue. That's so sick. Look at that. They should make like the regular upgrades look like that. Production. Let's see. 41.8 million. So it's not even like a huge jump. Or, wait, 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 what am I saying? I was thinking the last one produced 31 million because that's how much the upgrade cost, but no, it was like 3 million. I take it back. We do have enough for the tier 12 null. Should we do it? Error null. Okay, it doesn't change the way it looks. 363 million. That's just ridiculous. Look at my money. We now broke the limit. We're at negative 2 billion. So what that means to me is that we should get every paragon. We might as well. Look at this. I'm trying to drag the slider, but my money is not working. I guess these are all going to be degree one. Boomerang. Ace. Submarine, even though he's being covered. Buccaneer. Sweet. Wizard. Is this right here all of the non-modded paragons? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is there only eight? I mean, I have like 20 modded paragons, like Blue Incineration and Awe, Ray of MAD, Elite Moab Crippler, but we're not counting those. Yeah, I think that's everybody. They're only degree one, but who cares? At this point, we have unlimited money. Let's just uh, see how far we can get with all these paragons. Let's start at round 250. I've never actually tried this, but what? All of those guys lose to round 250? You're joking, right? Well, I guess in conclusion, the banana farm is sick, but all the paragons suck ass. In the end, this thing produced $13.6 billion. Actually, can you guys please let me know in the comments what is the most expensive mod in the entire game? And I'm gonna combine this with that. No joke, I wanna find a mod that has upgrades that cost like billions for every tier. I don't know any like that, but if you know any like that, please let me know. Anyways, that's gonna be it. Thanks for watching. Adios.